Hey, I'm Dukes on Twitch. If you want to support the channel and greensunsinit.com, you can find my Patreon, merch store, and single store where you can buy singles through TCG Player or Card Hoarder in the video description. If you want to get in contact, you can also find all that info in the description below for things like donation deck lists or just wanting to reach out. All right, let's get right into it. Hey team, uh, welcome back to Dukes on Twitch. Back today, back tonight with Ali again, uh, returning to the stream for a red green lands stream. Ali, how are you feeling about the current legacy metagame and welcome to the stream? Thank you so much. So I think the current, current legacy metagame is, is interesting to to uh, use a polite word i th i think it's um it's cool that the new deck ha has entered the format I, i'm confident that it's too good for, for legacy uh so so i'm um it's kind of in my opinion it's kind of a limbo that that i think we will have some bans uh maybe three months from now or six months from now but it, i've played against this white deck a lot and i played it myself a lot I think it's too fast and too powerful, um, but I still enjoy Legacy, and um, it, it, it's it's um, that's kind of where, where I'm at. I, I think it's um, it's fun, fun, fun with, with new things happening, uh, but I'm pretty confident that it, this is too good. How do yeah. you feel about Legacy? Uh, I love Legacy. <laughs> I do feel like <laughs> some decks have it a little bit easier than others, but in yeah. saying that, there's been, I think, a pretty good mix, especially for decks to beat um, in the format. And although I think right now there's, you know, bigger, um, uh, a big focus on Blue Red Delver and Mono White Initiative as kind of the new deck yeah. to beat, um, it's been pretty good. Leagues, especially this week, um, have been a pretty good variety. Uh, oh. But the power level is definitely it's, there. Something that's interesting to me is because uh, I I keep track of the like the challenge meta quite closely, and green white depths is doing really well, like a fi almost a fifty five percent win rate. They won the last two challenges. Yeah, uh, I did the same uh, is, yeah. pilot as well. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. that's interesting, and I think that's good actually. If that deck can still compete versus initiative that's good i think maybe i should start playing that yeah uh i really you like your take a, a little while ago you had a really cool take on like a green white lands build that was similar to depths but had more of a lands feel to it uh yeah you have to was that with reclaimers or or yeah. with, uh... and you had maybe knight in there as well Okay. You definitely had Reclaimer like, and you had yeah. Swords to Plowshares, I yeah. think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've I've played so many versions. Like when Initiative came out, I really tried to beat it. So I tried everything. I tried like Stifles, uh, Band, a lot of Green White as well. I just couldn't find a way to beat it on the draw. Yeah, that's the, um, that's the tough thing. I think a lot of fair decks it's that I've been playing cool. around with have been trying to adopt things like Hushbringer or Torpor Orb, but being yeah. cards that are obviously not turn one plays, it's hard to get them out before your opponent actually has the initiative or before yeah. they actually, you know, have an impact. Yeah. Um, they have so much removal as well. <laughs> so like, I yeah. think the best of our found which you see in this list is uh, pro protection from white creatures. Because yeah, at least if you have if you manage to resolve one of those and we can cast a turn one with the mocks and at least this is very hard for them to remove they need to have a ganyu a ganyu the new channel land or they need to have a walking ballista if they don't have those cards uh, they can't kill this one yeah and which is that, really nice that, that means, yeah i've seen some uh delver players and this is kind of where the format is at move towards blood knight because it's a 2-2 protection from white creature because yeah. mono white started playing at least some versions started playing gut shot to deal with unchained yeah. berserker <laughs> which is just yeah. hilarious um yeah. but 
yeah, I mean, you know, the full four in the sideboard definitely shows how important it is to have some sort of game in that matchup. Um, if you look because... at the winner's meta in challenges, Dura Delver is like 21%, and, and Initiatives is like 18%. So it's almost up there. So this is why I like, I just have to concede other, other matchups. Uh, I might even play Zero Spears and just completely concede spell based combo. Um, I tested like to have four Unchained Berserker and like two Minsk and Bow. I think Minsk and Bow is pretty because the other thing that's good is haste creatures. Right. You need to be able to take the because what I noticed when I played uh, the initiative mirrors is that the best answer to a white plume is your own white plume. <laughs> so if you think about it, if your opponent goes turn white, white plume and you go turn my white plume, you both are up one basic land, but you have the emblem. They can't, so you're actually ahead. The yeah, person on the true. draw is ahead because you have the emblem and they can't just attack. Well, they can attack, but then you just trade the creatures and uh, and you're, you still have the emblem. Um, so and it's kind of the same with the haste creature. If they have the emblem, the problem is if they also have a blocker then. But but if, say, they have an emblem and they attack, but they don't have a follow-up, which I guess is the best you can hope for. And then if you can play, like, a, a haste creature, you just instantly get the emblem back. Or even better, if they play a white plume, you bolt it. And then and next turn you cast, like, a... Um, what's it called? this like a green-red haste bushwalker or something. The landfall. Cast that, you can just get the emblem right back. Uh, so, so there are some some things you, you can do, uh, but they all get a lot better if you're on the play. Yeah, with uh, uh, Naya Depths, I've definitely seen a lot of fetch land pass, turn one white plume, and then fetch for dryad arbor end step, untap uh, swords the white plume, attack with a uh, dryad, take the initiative, uh, which is pretty strong. Uh, but uh, I can see that. The, uh... So at least then you force them to have a solitude and a turn one white plume. And, I mean, it, those hands are like the perfect hands for them. It's not it's not yeah. common that they have a turn one white plume and a solitude. It, it's it's uh, because uh, it also requires a lot of resources. Like if yeah. they mulligan, they can they can almost not have that. Uh, Speaking of yeah. white plume, is bolt a bit of a consideration for? Creatures like that? Uh, yeah, definitely. It's. I mean, I started. Uh, well, I started actually playing Bolt for um, best DLC. creature in Denver. D yeah, DRC. Yeah, exactly. Because that's the card that I lost to. Uh, and then it was also really good against. A lot of the format is good against Ramen Up, uh, the 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 creature from Green White Depths that typically kills me. Uh, it's really good against, you know, the Stompy decks, and it's just faster than Punishing Fire, so it lets you, like, bolt and cast something. It's super nice. Um, so I, I really like Lightning like, Bolt. I, I also even consider just cutting Punishing Fire completely, because uh, Punishing Fire doesn't really do anything against the white deck. You can't kill anything with this. Yeah, it's tough. It kind of has to be there, like with endurance, maybe blocking like a five-five um, white yeah. plume, or um, yeah. or if you have it's... a lot of mana, like late game, it's good, of course. But early, yeah. But the, the other thing is that the other deck that is actually keeping up with the initiative deck is elves. Yes, I actually uh, played elves this morning elves. with Helen Newton, okay. and he <laughs> definitely talked about how good it was at just being able to go wide. Uh, and then Snuff Out, of course, being a really nice removal spell because it hits all their creatures, but it also doesn't take time away from you from building out your board. You can, of course, cast it for free. Um, so he's been... I also thought of playing Snuff Out, actually. It's a really good idea. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you've played it before, but there is a... It's a creature that is... I think it's f five mana. And if it's in your graveyard and a creature attacks you, you kill the creature and you put the car, the, uh, the uh, creature in your graveyard back on top. Something Pharaoh? I yeah, think. yeah, but it, it was bugged on Magic Online for a long uh, time because I used to play it with Entomb 
I tuned for it and it didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but I yeah. think they fixed that, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the, the one thing I thought they could have done uh, as like a quick fix was uh, kind of ban the dungeon that currently exists, the Undercity. But I didn't uh, realize that the initiative actually makes you go into that specific dungeon. You don't kind of get to choose which dungeon you go into, um, which, yeah, mm. is obviously not going to be a fix. But but that Pharaoh creature, that was, that was bugged for years. It just doesn't do, it just doesn't do anything. It's not with the initiative specifically, but but it's. I think they fixed that creature. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, initiative was bugged with life from the loam. Made the game restart if you dredged. It depended on, but that they fixed quite fast actually. Okay, actually, one uh, niche deck that I have heard does quite well. Speaking of go wide strategies, uh, is slivers. It actually has quite a good uh, mono white initiative matchup. Interesting. Yeah. Just think that they're fast enough. Yeah, Slivers yeah. always beat on fair decks. They are pretty good, especially the Shroud one that gives all other. Yeah, obviously exactly. All other, yeah. Um, yeah. Slivers Shroud. I can see that because if they land that, they blank all removal. Uh, yeah. From the white deck, and then and then they clearly they can go wide, and big. Mm. But yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. I think another deck that seems to do well against it is Painter. I don't know exactly why. But it's kind of fun because Elves and Painter are good matchups for Lands. I think Lands is in a really weird spot right now because I think Delver is still a good matchup. Um, Elves and Painter are good. Control is... I hope it's still good because mm. they play so few basics now. Uh, and then... I have initiative that's horrible, and combo, of course, is horrible, but the only combo deck is, that people play is Reanimate. And Reanimate is actually not the worst because we have Endurance main. Uh, so I think Lance is probably okay. It's worse than it was before, just yes, because initiative is so, it's like 20% of the meta instead of, uh, you know, before you had Sneak and Show, there was a bad matchup, and it was maybe 3% of the meta. Hmm. Uh, and now your bad matchup is like, 17 or 15 percent so, so it's it's worse than before but it's still okay i think a lot of the decks that are good against initiative is bad are bad against lands like elves or even slivers the good matchup for lands yeah uh speaking of creatures with haste i think you could kind of put in the same category creatures with flash uh and of course endurance ah. is pretty strong uh, and has a pretty nice body as well against initiative, um, especially on like a, a mock Simon start. Um, have you ever thought about or toyed around with kind of like a, a four endurance main deck build? Uh, I mean, I think, well, maybe not, yeah, I, I would maybe play more Elvish Reclaimer than. Yeah, nice. Uh, I, th I think what you can cut is Sylvan Library. I don't think Sylvan Library is actually that good. Uh, you you might want to cut them for Elvish Reclaimer or more endurances. Okay. Uh, it's really bad against initiative. It's pretty good against Delver actually, Silver Library, especially when I have so much removal. Because you see, I have three maze of it now, or removal spells plus endurance. Mm. Uh, so so I kind of take the control role against Delver, and then you want Silver Library because you you need to filter. So you don't draw Mox Diamonds and Exploration late game. Yes. Uh, That's always been a bit of a conundrum with Maverick is when you're bringing in a lot of removal, you obviously have more interaction with creatures. So actually taking cards off library isn't as as much of an issue um, because you can control the board no. a bit better. But um, I typically see myself setting them out on Mav, but I can definitely see in lands being able to keep them just to make sure you're drawing live and always at least trying to dig yeah. a little bit for removal and, to keep pressure off the field. Quite. A lot of the time they just let Silver Library resolve because they, they think, okay, like this thing is not going to draw all my, my opponent any cards, but, but it's actually, you don't have to draw cards. It's just enough you draw the right card, right? Because the way you lose against Delver is that you draw like two Mox Diamonds in a row or something. Hmm. You you kind of fall behind, but if you if you can stop that from happening, uh, and you and you have so much removal for their early creatures, means that 
you know, when the game when the game prolongs, like you need to spend their cantrips finding another creature, and, and then you can set up to you know wasteland them out or dark depths or whatever. So I actually think it's quite good against Delver. Nice. Uh, one card I just want to get your thoughts on was actually this card, Haywire Might, uh, which is seeing yeah. some play in some some uh, saga builds, but I wasn't sure if lands actually really, if it feels like you need it or not, because uh, I think if you did, you kind of have Expedition Map for Besage you anyway. Exactly. So the only upside is that this can answer uh, Cholera. Yes, which um, I guess you have like Maze of for that as well. I have three maze plus uh, shadow spear also answers it. Right? It's like yes. it's a bit more. You, you need shadow spear and a force of vigor or something, but but you'll get there eventually. Yeah. You have uh, so I, I don't uh, and call right like death and taxes is not really a deck. I think it's yeah. probably worse worse than lands in the meta right now because uh, like why would you play death and taxes when you can play white initiative? Yeah, that's a that's a tough one. Uh, let's get into the yeah. league. This should be really fun. Yeah, um, and just wanting to make sure. Yeah, okay. So we have two fetches and three targets. Nice. I think I only have one Besedu, right? I think I cut one Besedu for a maze. Correct. Uh, play queens. Fine. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Let's see. It's gonna be. Uh, what have you been playing in leagues recently? I know you said you're playing around with Bant and a few other variations. Uh, well, you, uh, I, I've played a lot of initiative. Ah, mono red, <laughs> mono or white. Mono colors? Sorry, mono, uh, mono white. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I tested mono white. Uh, I tested like red white with once upon a time, and I tested blue white with stone um, true name nemesis and force of wills. That's cool. Um, yeah, I think on a white is probably the best uh, because the, the other one, like it's yeah, like kind of, to me, it feels like the it's worse in the mirror, but better against a lot of the format. Uh, so, mm. Okay, so who are we playing against? Uh, Heploshi. Heploshi. Okay, we are on the draw. No, we're on the play or. We're in the play. This is interesting. I mean, this is probably not. I I would say this is too slow. Like usually, if you have a hand without acceleration, it's the, like unless you're playing against control, this hand could be okay. Mm. Uh, but I think I would mulligan this hand because it's too slow. Mm. This is also mulligan. Yeah, sadly no. No. Green source or. Uh, or acceleration. Yes. We we'll get there. Okay. It's good. This it's is again good. shows why why Sylvan Library is so good. It's really good with mulligans. <laughs> yeah. I um, would. I would like I, unless we suspect them to be on reanimate. I would probably mulligan endurance. Probably endurance and punishing fire. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I would go like. I think I would go like Mox. Oh, Chancellor okay. of the Annex. Interesting. Interesting. I think I would go, I, I don't know what you feel, but I think I would go like Mox, Ching, uh, Yavimaya probably, maybe Port, and then Ursa Saga and Sylvan Library. Nice. Uh, uh, we won't be able to cast a Sylvan because the wow they, a they reveal that as well yes okay, then we'd, okay okay fine then i would probably play out uh oh, okay so it's okay i know what this deck is it's this uh, we're gonna die on turn one <laughs> uh, is it like uh, a runner okay, deck so or is it more of like a uh it's this neoform i think neoform okay okay Wolf so Boros maybe i would i would do uh, could be, yeah, could be. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so maybe with distance hindsight, maybe we shouldn't have. We didn't know that they were going to reveal that. 
Correct. Uh, because the problem is, we kind of want to start with Darius Saga, right? Yes. If we do that, we're not cast. We're not casting Silmar Library. No. But maybe that's fine. I think if if we play against initiative, we need to get a board. So I would go mm. like Saga, Fox Diamond, and drop the probably drop the Avimaya still. Nice. Maybe yeah, I think I would drop. The, maybe drop the port actually, because it could be a line that we need to go. Uh, map into dark depths, and it's nice okay. the dark depths. That's the manner with the other. I don't think we're gonna we're gonna we're not we're not gonna port here. Either we're dead. Okay. Oh wow. So they get the basic. Okay, so we're gonna test the unchained burst circuit then. Okay, so this is good. So now so we obviously play out Yavimaya. I don't think we like there's an argument for casting Silver Light. Because the problem is we're gonna have a two two, so we can't block. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Uh and the white plume will be a five five. So even if we create a token yeah. and then create a token with the saga. It'll be 3-3, three, three, and then the uh, thing that comes in play, most likely, say, like a map, um, will make them just 4-4s. Four Shadow Spear. So they will be 5-5s, five, five, right? 2-2, two, two, no, 4-4s, four, four, yeah. And Shadow Spear will make it the 5-5, five, five, but it's, I think maybe it's better to go for a, a Dark Depths line here. So <laughs> then I would cast it on Library. Nice. Uh... Then actually, it could have been better to cast Bojek Yukabog. Yeah, that's very true because uh, we obviously don't need to. Actually, now can time. we have the next turn? Let's see. We might be able to. In... If they have a follow up. So we're we're ten effectively. We have a follow up. We're hundred percent dead. Okay, that's maybe not. Okay, so now we're at ten. If we can somehow, can we get a merit ledge next turn? If we find a crop rotation and uh, we need two cards. Two, Actually, three. we can still win. We can still win. Yeah, if we find a uh, Dark Depths and a Crop Rotation. Yeah. Can we get... Mm -hmm. Bolt is not going to do anything. Uh, so if we find... Well... So we can find a maze of it. We can find a map to maze of it. Okay, and then we have maze for this and bolt for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This um, is better than nothing. Yeah, so I would take the bolt then. Would you uh, and, uh, go down to six? Oh, no, no, I wouldn't pay life, no. Okay. I would tap uh, Ursa Saga for mana here. Yeah. Map. Map, yeah. And then. Maze. Um, yeah, Maze of it. And then I'm going to this right thing. now. Yeah. I have better to do it now because they play these flickers. Uh, yeah, Please I've seen. Think... Some versions playing around with Ephemerate, and then some versions playing Touch of the Spirit Realm. Yeah. Okay, Fable, that's interesting. So we're not dead this turn. I think we are in the same spot 
probably the problem is we can still pay for life right yeah uh, and and survive next turn so if we have crop rotation and dark devs this stage okay that works Ooh, oh okay oh ah, that doesn't work fortunately um, but because um, we have no but yeah i wouldn't pay life now so i would just oh yeah and then yeah and then play out the stage yeah Uh can copy the uh the maze here as well if needed, but there's no real yeah, problem to be using for dark tips. I think we wanna represent Marriott Lage. Maybe problem is okay, so they find that we take two, so we go to eight. I th yeah, so we take two and then four next turn and then five off this. Um, so then we go down to one. <laughs> next turn. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm so bad at combat. Like, we they get two counters, right? So four plus. How big is the thing? Because it also explores. Uh, yeah, so we. So if this grows now, I think we did. You think the the dungeoner is what? A six six. Drew a card. Six seven and a seven and, and the white white plume is how big? Uh a six six currently. Okay, so we're dead. Uh, we're, go we're gonna. Oh, because we can block. Yeah, of the... course. Yeah, so we yeah, can. Uh, we can oh, yeah, <laughs> we're not they dead. They need like actually, another creature block. as well. They always have. Okay, well, that's a pretty good one. Because now we're yeah. dead. Because we take five. So now we're dead. Was I mean? It was not like. Unless, okay, can we find a crop here as well? No. Let's see. A crop? I don't think... It... No, I was thinking if we could uh, make the copy and then the Yavamaya... So we could make the copy with Yavamaya stage and depth and then have a mana left over through the Mox Diamond, and then Mox Diamond away the Yavamaya for another maze, and then have two mazes and a blocker. Oh. But then this is already a 4-4, four, four, so if we're letting one of these yeah. through, even then it's... If we had had Glacial cast, it would have worked. Line would have worked. But actually, we would have been dead if we paid four life, because we're three now. Uh... Yes. Yeah, I forgot about the five as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so definitely we're taking the four. Uh, we also take in the Force of Vigor, I think. Uh, so this deck doesn't play Chromax, does it? Uh, well, this deck question. probably play... Don't think so. I think the, the red versions usually play Mox Diamond. Mox Diamond is... Like, Force of Vigor is better against Chromax because you can do it with the imprint on the stack. Correct, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I would cut Caracas as well. Sure. Nice. Uh, and then, uh, how many lands do you have left? Thirty-one. One. I could. You could cut Richard and Port. Oh, maybe not actually. Hmm. Uh, do you still keep okay, the, the punishing think. fires in? Uh, no. Hmm. I don't think we need them. I don't think they're Would gonna. That well, maybe actually, maybe I think we can definitely. Oh god, this is so hard. Shadow Spear, we want map. We, I think we want uh, like okay. So the we need to cut one more land, and I think it's either it's probably a Richard and Port. Yeah, cool. Uh, and then I'm not sure we. 
I think endurance is better than punishing fire, but I'm hard. I don't know. No, no, I mean, I'm thinking if we should cut endurance. Oh, gotcha. I think it's pretty nice uh, as a way to yeah. block a 3 3 and yeah. also steal the initiative if we need. But then it's the question is punishing fire better than still one library? Hmm. Uh, or actually, if are we gonna force a vigor? Like they play, if they don't play Romox. I, I'm not sure force a vigor is even that strong. I mean, yeah, the one card that comes yeah. to mind is Chalice. If they have a sort of, I don't or... think they play Chalice in the uh, version, in version either. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that that is true. Uh, I mean, we can we can do. Let's do it like this, and then we can, we'll see. So let's take. Yeah, we take that out, and we keep these like that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and let's. Okay, so we're gonna have turn one, berserker. No, but we have an exploration. Hmm. Yeah, but we don't do anything. Yeah, I don't think we should keep this. It's already a six. Yes, I think it's yeah, a bit of a trap end. End. Yeah. Okay. Uh, exploration. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, I would. Yeah. yeah, I would bottom a tiger. Nice. Then go like tiger exploration stage map. Then we just hope that they don't have a turn one. If they don't have a turn one, we're actually okay. If we then we just need to draw land. Actually, we don't need to draw land because we can just map for Saga. They don't have a turn one. We could map for Saga and play the. Oh, nice. <laughs> so. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh... Don't you think? Don't you, uh, like? I don't think Dark Depths. I think in this case. I would ma either map. We can't map for maze, unfortunately. Don't you think map for Saga? Play Saga. Play uh, Berserker. Is we get the initiative and we we fetch a Tiger. Yeah, I like that a lot. Then we we gonna compete on the board. Uh, so we map for yeah, and we can even. The saga, yeah. And next turn, if we draw land, we can play a similar library as well and make a token. Yeah, that's a great point. Because actually, yeah, if, if towards... they play, sorry, play a white plume, or if they play a white plume, oh damn it. So now we need to draw a lightning bolt. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the that's the dangerous thing about. I think. Okay, okay nice. I think yeah, we offer the trade, don't we? Uh this has got. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. I think we do because then we waste the. Yeah, I like that a lot. Because otherwise, this is going to grow out of control. Especially with Trample. Yeah. And we waste. And then the question is we play the library? I think we do. Over I think we are now second? back to. to I think we are back to Merit Lage plan now. Or I mean it's so hard. What do you th what do you think? Should we try to make constructs? Or um, so if we make a construct next turn, uh and then we untap, we have a one one. Uh we can create another one potentially with the saga to make it a two two. We get something off it which makes it a three three. So if they have like a white plume, we could potentially trade with the white plume. I don't mind the library. I think the library leads to like 
more than just the next two turns. Well, well, so the thing is, if they have a white plume, we actually, we can make a construct. We can make another one. If we draw land, we can find Shadow Spear and we can get trampled and get the initiative back. Hmm. Uh, if they have a removal, I guess if, if they don't have a white plume. Oh, this is so hard. I think we can get value of the saga. Get value of the saga while we have it, and then down uh, the line. Yeah, it. okay, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that, yeah. Let's do that. See you. But yeah, very tough. You're right. It's very tough, yeah. Ooh, surgical and wasteland. That is fine. That's fine. What does that mean? They have another they have an ancient tomb or something? So if they if they go ancient tomb into white plume, I think that's fine for us. Mm. And we force them to make a one one two. We just need to draw land. I'm gonna say the red white version is harder for lands because the unchained berserker is not as good. Yes, because they play red red creatures. Praxis have six cards in hand. Or... Oh, do we take out both? Just one port. Okay, so we still have a port if we need it for the Krakus, if we did want to go down the, the Mount Lege line. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now we make we make one. Then we might might want to copy Saga, actually. Let's see what we draw. If we draw land, I like copying Saga. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, here, I think we just cast both spells. Yes, the saga so we'll die. just float mana. Yeah. And then, to be fair, Shadow Spear on Unchained is pretty nice as well. Uh, yeah, we find Shadow Spear. We cast Unchained first. Unchained first. Okay. Oh, In case sorry. they had Surgical, but yeah, that's fine. Oh, interesting. Sometimes they, they wait with the surgical and then, but that's fine. Okay, so we get the initiative back. Fantastic. Oh, wow, yeah. And then, we, and then we get a basic. <laughs> nice. Oh, then yeah, I shouldn't, okay. sorry. I went to band step, but uh, hopefully okay. it doesn't matter because we're, actually it does because of the light. Uh, but... Apologies. Let's see. Well, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Because now... Okay. Now we need to find a bolt. Uh, so we're definitely gonna. How big is our construct? It's a two-two, right? Correct. Actually, now it might. If we have a mox, it's good that you didn't play the land. If we can find a mox from the. That was my thought process. That's exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Seiju is. Oh, also nice. having Seiju is pretty nice. Yeah. Force and the loam. Okay, so loam is nice. I would probably not pay any life here. No. I would go. Uh, yeah, I, I would. Uh, maybe, maybe. No, no, no. I, I think you want to leave a red open to. to demonstrate something like a bolt or yes maybe okay. not i mean we're not gonna tap to have mana to tap this to copy anything with the stage anyway and loan back both both saga uh, and the fetch it's a fetch isn't it correct um fetch doesn't bills. get us and we don't have any fetches i, I would I would loan back saga and the fetch and then play saga play forest then we equip Probably. Oh, it's so hard. Hmm. Because the other line is loan back saga and then hold up the age copy saga. Yeah, but we don't need we don't need to cop like. 
think I think wait. So the the tricky thing is I don't think we we need to copy like we the saga will win the long game by itself. I don't think we need mm. definitely one alone. Sweet. Oh wait, okay, wait. We okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Because because we're gonna attack with both. Say we're gonna attack with both creatures. So we, we need to kill the Berserker here. The problem is the problem is now we can I guess they don't they know about the Hooded Foothills, I guess, so oh. let, let 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 me think. Don't you think it's better to have the blocker? Oh. In the construct? What do you think if we if we attack with both creature and he doesn't block? I would um, I would chain up Berserker attack. We're gonna and then if he doesn't block, I'm, I would pump probably pump construct. Yeah. I don't know, chain up Berserker. Ah, uh, if we uh, uh, yeah, if we just now. Both. Yeah, but now if we attack with both, he might not block it. Okay, but let's do that then. I think it would have been maybe better to attack with. You see, now he might not block. Yeah. If, if he had only if he chain up Berserker and attacked with Berserker only, now I would I will pump Berserker probably. Hmm. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Do you mean? Was that they're he... on ten, so next. I think turn... this will this will be fine. Like now, the problem is that they gonna they gonna take the initiative, then play an initiative creature, and they their board will be enormous. So they take it, and they they get a four one, and then they play another one, and they get uh, the ultimate. This we could have stopped if we had a blocker. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't realize how far they could go down if they do have another one. That's so no, and they. So we have to hope that they don't have another one. What's this going to be? Oh, engineered explosives for two. That's pretty good. Well, it doesn't stop the construct though, but it does stop Silver Library. Yeah. Are they going to allow us to have it? No, I think we. No. What do we have on top? Uh, we okay, have the... the Force of Vigor. Force of Vigor doesn't do anything here. Uh, we dredge, right? Yes. Uh, Crop up, a sage okay. you. Hmm. Uh, I would probably loan back this. I would loan back the sage you. I, I wouldn't play out the uh, fetch because we can't fetch anything. Better to keep it for mocks. Uh, then I would, I guess I would attack. Um, then they, yeah, I would make the construct and attack. I think we need to hope to raise them here, don't you think? Okay, just because they can block with a four one. This is currently a three three. Yeah, but it has trample. We get the initiative, so they're going to lose a lot mm. of life. Okay, yeah, that, that's fair. Make the construct now. Oh, they don't block. Make, the make construct, make construct. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'll just think it to see if they block yeah. or not. Yeah, okay. Unless they have a removal spell, go to one. Do we play the land here? Uh, the Besaju? 
Um, I think that could be good actually, because we can we can make a construct and copy the saga. Yeah, I like that a lot. But the, I guess, but the other one, I guess, the other problem is we could have taken Caracas. But yeah. Yeah, thankfully at this stage, I guess the Caracas isn't too big of an issue because we have the construct beatdown plan. But engine explosives is is pretty nice, especially if they have a second uh, one for zero. Yeah, if they have a second one, interesting game. I think here we don't block, right? Yeah, I like that. Did he get ancient tomb? Okay, that's not something he can use. So they get one creature. Put their oh. hand is full of lands. Okay. Don't really. Is there anything good there? Too many. I guess they just go for season dungeoneer. Yeah. But that doesn't save them. No. P5 is not in the deck. Lightning bolt is. Oh, lightning bolt is. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it would have been good to have the artifact that. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, I don't think we dredge loam here, right? Because we want to yeah. draw light, lightning bolt. Nice. Oh yeah, they also untap their board. Forgot about that. <laughs> lightning bolt or die. Mm. Inspiration, that's not... Okay, so we make a construct. Uh, then copy. Yeah, we might as well. If it had like a spell bomb in our deck, that would have been so nice. That would have been cool. Oh, this actually is nice. Six, six. <sighs> they can double block. Yeah, they also have a six, seven, which is tough. <laughs> Uh, what do we do? Have to attack, right? Because I mean, hmm. can we survive? Can we survive one turn? Uh, they can get pro cr for a creature, but that's fine. We just take seven. Seven. It takes seven. Okay. Don't block that. So we're going to take 11 plus. I think we're dead. We should have attacked. Because they just attack with their menace guy. And uh, we're, at, we're, at, we're at seven already. Yeah, so we're dead. No, I guess we can block that one. Two creatures. We're dead. If, if, if they, they explore... They attack with everything. Oh, okay. Okay, oh. they give that. This is fine. Am I missing why they didn't just attack with one creature that has pro for lethal? Yeah. Uh, we, I guess we block. We need to double block it as well, yeah. We might as well triple block or I don't know. <laughs> We're not dead and we can draw lightning bolt, right? Yeah, maybe I'm missing something, chat. I thought they could just attack with this one for seven and give it protection yeah. from creatures so we can't block. It was a six. So they had to hit on the explorer. Yeah, I think we were dead. Okay, so that's fine. Now, uh, all we have to do is draw lightning bolt, right? Out of the cards. 
Lightning bolt or bust, I would say. Is I guess Maze isn't is Maze and out? I don't know. Maybe. This is also fine. Lightning bolt would be Dutch. Uh, cancel. Lightning bolt. Ooh. A crop rotation. Oh. Interesting. Um, oh, okay, so now I kind of wish I'd besage you for interesting. So I think we should suit up our creatures. Barbarian ring, if you play that. Yeah, it would be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I guess we we'll, we. We'll... To... Do we have have to attack? They can't just attack with one I, thing. I guess we we yeah okay we can attack with one in the life and then suit up the other one right. Yeah, nice. Which will only be a three three. Oh, but we have crop for maze. Nice for this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, well, they do a bad attack again. We might survive. Oh, attack! I think we should attack. That's gain, my only thought. What if we don't attack because we have maze for the seasoned engineer? Yeah. Don't we want to gain four life and be a ten? I don't know if that's better or worse. I... Yeah. Because if we have crop for maze, then we have the season yeah. dungeoneer covered, and then we have a five five and a yeah. four four against their Three three and a two two. And they've really okay. used trap. Yeah, I see. They're... It's like <sighs> so we can't block the zombie, right? So that's so no. So we're gonna take four. Go to two. Then we take. Okay. And it gives okay, yeah, us I like time yeah. to potentially yeah, yeah, okay. make this bigger. Yeah. Let's uh, let's see. I'm so bad at combat math. No, no, no. All good. Uh, Hopefully, yeah. this don't have a way to get rid of these. Problem is, if they have another initiative creature, then they ultimate again. Hmm. Uh... Okay, they didn't. All right, so they just attack with this. Okay, so that's good. So now we... we uh, no, Besage you, Besage you, Besage you. Uh, oh, crop the Besage away? So we can loan it back? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Maze of it, yeah. So we live another... <laughs> we do live another turn. The question is if we should copy Maze here. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. Instead of the saga. Uh, I, I don't think so, no. And the other question is, is if we should loam. We should loam or hope to top deck a lightning bolt. So how many cards do we have in our library? Uh, we have 36. Okay. Oh, we're actually going to take out the loam and the... Uh, okay, fine. Okay, well, it just takes away the, the thought. Yeah. I don't think we want another maze. I don't know what you think. It would be... It would be... If they have another... Actually, another maze might have been good. Yeah, they, my only in the for no maze is just being able to make these bigger. Yeah, but the problem is if they, they're going to ultimate next turn. Uh, Palace Jailer. Oh. It doesn't matter. Like, our out is still too... Hmm. Uh, problem is, if we draw lightning bolt, they can have like a sword supplier and sword their own creature. Bolt, 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 bolt. Brave. <laughs> Oh, I should have. 
Uh, yeah, get that out. I guess we equip as yeah. well. Once this fable gets online, it's going to be tough as well. <laughs> Definitely, Punishing Fire would have been better than Endurance at this stage of the game. Mm. Uh, but of course, it's hard to know. It's hard to know how these games will play out, but it was an interesting one, I think. Yes, the question is, are we dead next turn? So we can... Equip here, make a 4-4. Four, four. And then we have Maze for this. We take 4. I guess we have another blocker in this, which no. can block a 3-3. Three, three, Unless they three, find three. another Dungeoneer. Yes. Because we... Mm. we gain life as well, yeah. Why are, are we waiting for them or? Yeah. We block, yeah, so we block that, we block that, take four, we take six, and we gain five. They attack with everything. Yes, because you get to block two creatures in maze one. Interesting. Yeah, there's so much value. Like a lot of these creatures that is replacing themselves straight away, so it's hard to uh, face yeah, an yeah, initiative yeah. player who runs out of cards. Oh, they lost connection. Yeah. That's why. Okay. Probably lagging. That's one thing I noticed when you play that deck. Like I have to restart every every game because uh, the <laughs> triggers. Classic. I think we played okay. There were some some lines that were interesting, like we attacked with both creatures. I yeah, be better tone. I think going back up. So now we up. Your advice for sure. I do think post sideboard. It's not like the game is like we've had three four turns to draw lightning bolt and win. Okay, but they have swords of browsers. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now go to eleven. Take four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we can still kind of the same. At least they can't sword their own creature now. Mm. Wasted it. Oh. Another. Oh my God! What did they find? Found another one. Okay. That will probably do it. Oh, let me take. We're gonna know. Oh. Okay, let's see. Might still survive. Is that a tree tree? Correct. Uh, two, two. Oh, I mean the white plume. The white plume is gonna get protection creatures now. Yes. Oh, okay. If this, that's a tree tree, right? So it can grow to four, four or what? Yes. Yeah. So you mean spirit guide. Then this resolves to four, four. But we still survive. It's the... A lightning bolt or bust, isn't it? Uh, yes, like this turn as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter. Only had a spell bomb. The sideboard, we could have, oh, in the deck, we could have found it now as well, but the uh, <laughs> Versa Saga. 
Yeah, I can I can definitely see the reasoning though for not having it, especially seeing how like uh, <laughs> punishing fire is positioned. Yeah, exactly. Our opponent, and I mean, if our opponent just has one sword to plowshares, dead anyway, or, or um, solitude. It's pretty likely they have something like that because they only use like one. Hmm. They've seen they a lot of cards. Churn through a lot of cards as well. Yeah. There's not much we can do. Yeah, so we can't really play around source like Yeah, so they currently have so it... one, two, three, four mana open. So I guess if we draw into bolt, we should just cast it, because then that opens the line if we let them undapt to yeah. solitude, if they don't have another white card in hand. Exactly, yeah. You can never trick them to use solitude. Yeah. have nothing, like... Just one damage. Uh did they lose connection again? No, oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Tight I game. feel like like uh obviously Archon is very hard for this deck to beat as well. For my deck, for our deck, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hard, yeah. Hi -ya. Okay. Uh, oh. Ah okay, you see we die with expiration and mocks. Uh yeah, I think we concede, yeah. Tough. It was a cool game, I think. Yeah, definitely a lot of uh of play to it and just a long match as well like a very grindy matchup um yeah. and i guess knowing about the rest and of the pieces as well the the punishing fires do lose value of not being able to kill something bigger than a 2-2 two -two. Yeah. but that, yeah i think if we had played against the mono white those berserkers would have been a lot better like uh, the red creature there was pretty good yeah, I actually thought of playing the red one myself. So oh, another way, because cool. then you can you can cast it and just get the initiative back. Uh, but that you probably need ancient tombs then. Yes. Uh, nice. This is a pretty sweet. Nice. This hand. is a good good hand. Yeah. Yeah. So let's hope we play against Delver. I would uh, probably go like. Uh, yeah, Maybe. Mox, Saga Mox, or maybe Mox first. So not demonstrate that we don't have green mana. Mox pitch probably picks pitch port or maze. Nice. Yeah. Maze maybe. And then, then saga. saga. Usually don't want to show my uh yeah, and then loam it back. Yeah. Also an argument for not loaming it back and having bolt open. If we were playing against White Initiative, it might have been better to just. Yeah, if they go turn true. one White Plume. Mm. Uh, At least if they turn one White Plume here, we have Wasteland. Troplet. No. Huh. What's this? It's not. Uh... Oh, okay. Uh -huh. This is near no way. Form. Oh my gosh. Near we actually yeah. did get punished for not. <laughs> uh, no, I guess I'll, there's no, there's no, no situation not, where we can. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess How, there's a world where, like, we could bolt them. No. Uh, it's sevens. So they go to six. They have to kill us this turn. How did they cast that creature? Uh, Alice Source Rider. Uh, may... And they exile the same? form and green suns. Uh, you may exile two green cards from your hand rather than pay hey. this mana cost. So there's nothing you can do. Correct. I'm not sure if they went through uh, Bulgaribna. Bul uh, Bul uh, Bul uh, Bul uh, Bul uh, 
Bo... Bo... Gr oh my gosh. <laughs> Bo Grigmos? What's it called? The one where it has an activated ability of discarding a land dealing three damage. Okay. Is it dead this turn? What does that creature do? They discard it to gain seven life, or yes. So this one is the chancellor that, that if it's in your opening hand, you add a mana pool at your first main phase. So it's kind of okay. But how can you. how can they gain life then? Uh, so nourishing shoal is you may exile a green card with mana value X from your hand rather than pay the spell's mana cost, and then you gain X okay. life. So it plays <laughs> a bunch of like big green creatures that you can exile to yeah. this. There's also a worm that they play, I believe, that is like a um, it's like, uh, it's got like steel kind of like covering. It's an interesting deck. I I think this will be hard for us to. Like... Yeah, it's really like, of, yeah. Turn one sphere is kind of where it's going to be. I think so as well. Yeah. They play force of will, so I guess they do. But now they're really thinking. So how, yeah. So how 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 do they? They pack. Okay. Interesting. They're packing like their a, own. They, Someone is packed the, just to build this up. This is storm. a great grave shot. Uh, how do they kill tendrils or? Ah, uh, with a bloom apprentice. Why did they? Okay, so storm. now Bolt would have been nice. Ah, okay, actually. they want to weather the storm. Interesting. Ah, to draw okay. their deck. Okay, and then I assume they get to enough mana to be able to cast with a bloom, potentially with another uh, source of mana and just uh, rituals. But oh, they have no zero they, cards. No, no cards in the decks. If they can't win now. Lightning Bolt would have been good here, do you think? Well, they never went to three. They only went to six. No, but with to the, for the Wither Bloom. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, if... uh, no, because they would have had two more packs. But they need to discard. Oh, they don't play the card. How, how do they actually win now? Oh, that's true. Yeah, maybe it actually was... Hmm. It's not. I guess they cast need... everything. Need one more mana, right? Cast the storm thing. Do they have any cards left? Uh, in hand, they have thirty. In library, they have null. Okay. Is it? It could cast that. No, now we die. They probably have two packs. Okay, but this means we know we know they're kill now. So yes, which is quite nice. Oh yes, yeah, so this is enough. Interesting. So how did how did they? Okay, so spears <laughs> want spears. Yes. Uh, we probably want Pyroblast. Uh, uh, yes, I guess just in for case the, for the pack, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Then I guess. Like the grindy stuff are... can probably go out. Like Shadow Spear. Maps. Uh, Needle's uh, actually pretty good for, for Guzzle, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think uh, Endurance doesn't do anything, do you think? I don't believe so. Punishing Fire and Lightning Bolt are quite good for With a Bloom. Oh. Like Blast Zone, probably just too slow. Well, it's better than other things. Like what Maze of It, Abernacle. Mm. Like they are not gonna. Not they. I mean, they kill us or die. They're not gonna kill us in combat. I think. Yeah, I assume they're not some sort of deck that moves towards empty. That's my only thought on Tabernacle, but. Yeah, I... but let's. 
Let's cut it, yeah. Let's, okay. cut, the ma- let's cut the maze, at least. Okay, we'll get down to one maze. All of them. We can cut all of them and maybe keep Tabernacle then. Okay. Nice. Over 30 lands, right? And 60 cards. Correct. This is fine, yeah. Let's do this. Uh... Come on, Sphere. Uh, mm. This is a mulligan, yeah. Uh... Mulligan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the last, but... like The problem is... It's not really doing much. Yeah, but the problem is... Yeah, I think we can mulligan this as well, but... I'm not going to have a turn one spear. Uh, with four cards, but let's mulligan this as well. I think this does. Oh, okay. Okay, this is good. Yeah. Yeah, especially with needle, on uh. Yeah. So what if we keep? Uh, we want to keep dark tips. Yeah, I guess if we keep these four. Yeah, or we, or we keep uh, a pyroblast. What would Power Blast be good for? It would be good for Mason Borrower if they play that one. Hmm. Uh, oh, I would keep these four, yeah. I guess so, yeah. Definitely bottoming this and definitely bottoming one Blast. I would. I think bottom both of them. Let's just... Okay. So the way we win is we go... Now we go Thespian Stage Needle. I guess yeah. we Needle the Dinosaur. Or uh, no. It's, needle it's not an activated... Correct. We need a grisser burn, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I guess we go stage oh, yeah. here instead of the Wood of Foothills because we could just draw into Yellow. Yeah, and exactly, yeah. Oh, they went down to four cards as well. Okay, that's good. Then I... we name Gristleburn, of course. I'm so stupid. Gristleburn. Can they win okay. now? Look, there's beatdowns. We play the. Ooh, okay. Nice. Because of that, it's fine to play the. Yeah. Uh, uh. They probably have like Force of Vigor or something that. What would be their answer to? Needle? Probably Force of Vigor. That's probably a good one because you have so uh. many green cards already. We can draw like a spear here. That would be. Okay, we did draw mocks, interesting, but that wouldn't have changed anything. Ah, oh, no force of vigor, please. So if, if this power blast had been a crop rotation, we would have been nice. Uh, land, 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 land. Oh, nice. We're gonna see if they force a wigger. Maybe they still have one. Natural state. Okay, can't do anything there. Yeah. So. Oh. I think if anything, I pr should probably just fetch here. I. I I don't think they think about Reb, so I don't think there's like a. A chance for them to like respond to Waterfield Hills with a blue spell, but it's just nice to have it open. Mm. Oh. Five cards. Spirit Guide. Okay. Oh, uh, Neo Form, of course, is a spell we can counter with this. Yeah. I don't, didn't even think of that. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they. Our only out is that they 
uh, Fistle now, right? We can't really... Yeah, it's pretty half, I pretty hard, I assume. With the bloom. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting with so little fast mana, they, but they, it's because they have so many free spells. Yeah, exactly. It's really tough to keep up with. Mm. Now a bolt would have actually been nice because they can go 2-1. I think we did as good as we could. Did put up yeah. a fight. Yeah. Yeah, the blast effect's not looking that great against this side of no. the deck. <laughs> oh my god, if you had a ball. Fifteen cards left in the sideboard or what? Fifteen cards left in the deck, yeah. So in the deck, yeah. Okay. Uh, their win con is they play Weather the Storm. So they need like one more mana, so I guess they just need a Simming and Spirit Guide. We're dead. Okay, there. Found a spirit guide or what? Correct. That is correct. This is a pretty cool deck. Not something yeah. you play against in challenges, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's leagues for you sometimes. Yeah. Oh. Another with a bloom, sure. Oh. It's overkill. Respecting lightning bolt, we would have killed them if we had a lightning bolt. Okay. Okay, nice. Let's oh. uh, start a climb. Look, we're just warming up. This is all good. We are warming up, yeah. Oh, we, we are pretty faith. warm. Now. <laughs> what? I've got faith. We can come back strong. Yeah. How do you find lands is against like random decks? Like typically in an O2 bracket, you're going to play against some other decks you don't typically see. I, I don't think Lance is that good against random decks. Mm -hmm. I think Lance is a deck that's pretty good against the winner's meta normally uh, because it's good against Delver. Uh, and you and you you pick the two control deck uh, or sorry the two combo decks that you want to be good against. Neoform is not one of them. And normally, because it's yes. a very, very niche <laughs> deck. Yeah. Uh, really tough there to see the Eldritch Evolution instead of the uh, Neoform. That would have been Neo form. Oh, yeah, that would have been so nice. Uh, we we did put up a fight, I think, in game two. Mm. We were like one turn away from killing them. Yeah. Yeah, interesting to see uh, Natural State as their selection of Artifact or Enchantment Removal. Um, when you do have cards like Force of Bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because I guess Chalice would be pretty good against them and, of course, might get exactly by Natural State. Yeah. But what would you do? Chalice on zero? Yes. Turn the draw. Um, yeah, that's yeah. true. Uh, no Loam, no Exploration. Yeah, I would, I would not keep this on. It's on the draw as well. Mm. Okay. This one is good. Yeah, it's not probably... good, but it's not good. Do you go bottom for the double mox? Yeah. And then just bottom it. We on the uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We bottom a dark depths, yeah. Nice. 
And then we kind of. We on the draw or on the play? On the draw. And I think it might be. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh... Uh, okay. This there's no. Okay, we have... all we need to do is draw crop rotation or we have a turn to uh, merit ledge. If we can draw crop rotation, thespian stage, right? Yeah. Which is pretty good. Yeah, I think this uh... hand is not. Oh. I would go bottom. I would do dark depths. I'm gonna play out dark depths anyway, right? Hmm. Yeah, so I would show that to them. Loam it back, and then play out dark depths. Nice. And then it's like the normal math problem for lands. Do you dredge here? I think you yeah, I don't think... because. Oh, you don't. So the problem is that if you dredge, you cannot make the thing anyway. I think it would have yes, been maybe different. That's very true. At least this is the mono white version, it looks like. Yeah, so we're. We go to 10 here, don't we? Yes. We like we're dead next turn, so we need to draw Thespian stage or brought. We don't we don't dredge for sure. But it's dead? didn't get dead yeah okay but that's interesting so let's see if we can turn this around then now we want f all force of vigor for sure uh i think we can cut let me think we can definitely cut punishing fire but you could bog a bog yeah caracas, uh, caracas yeah uh, i wonder if we if we want to uh, dark depths, no. I think so need to get... because a lot of their ways to answer it are gain twenty, which is yeah, except... okay. So you don't want to cut it then? No, I, I I think it's a quite good way to like, especially with crop rotation. It's just a nice way to like win the game. Yeah, hey, I'm not saying cut all of them. I'm just saying cut oh. one. Yeah, shave maybe is better. Yeah, I don't mind that. Uh, a little bit like how with we... Death and Taxes, you kind of trim down. Exactly, yeah. Then Needle, I think we... Yeah. Uh, the other one we want, then maybe one Durance. Yeah. Nice. And or Loam. There's also an argument to cut Shaving a Loam, actually, because... Uh... Oh. Well, this has the this crop, but yeah, but the problem. Hmm. Can we do turn three? I think we mulligan this. Like, can't use force of vigor. The only way this would work is if they go chromox. We we vigor the chromox, then they have ancient tomb. Nothing else. Then we port the ancient tomb. Hmm. Hope to draw something. I think we can do better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no green mana. <laughs> no green. That's annoying. Yeah. I think we we mulligan this as well. Yeah. Uh, one green mana. Yeah, I think this one. Let's like. We need some luck as well here. Yeah, we do that and the and that one. Yeah. Do need some luck, but there are some. Ooh, okay, oh. Okay, that's quite nice. Because they just exile so we can as waste, well. Waste. Yeah. So we can wasteland. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so I guess we go wasteland there first. And then just hope. Then hope to draw a berserker. Oh, 
Now we're gonna. No, oh, damn it. Always have it. Oh, okay. Well, that's not so annoying because it does turn off the port potentially. Well, yeah, but I don't think they're not gonna have a white blue. Like, if they do port, if they say port, we can draw dark depths. Hmm. And uh, loam would also be fine. Oh, that creature. There you go. Uh, that's not so good. I would play out both lands that they know about. Yes. And I would probably copy the grove. I copy the grove, yeah. They interesting. Gotcha. They didn't float. They just played the tomb. Mm. They are short on white mana. Now endurance would have been nice, actually. Okay, so what? Life from the Loam is a great draw. Red creature. Ooh. Endurance? Oh, it's okay, yeah. It's pretty good, actually. Now we, we're going to kill their creature and have like a board. board. Yeah. And then we can... Yeah. We can't port this turn though, but I guess I don't have to give them colors. Uh, I'm also just going to leave graveyards. Yeah. Because they luckily for them had swords of plowshares, but that's good because that's one less sword. Yeah. We can. Uh, no, crop rotation is also a pretty nice one for us. Nice. Okay, that's also good. Give them life. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, now, do we take them off white? I don't think so. I think we take them off. Take them off tooth? Tomb? Yeah, yeah. Cool. What is that land? Is it... White land uh, they have, what is it? Yeah, so if you control in it. two or more other lands, it comes into play tapped. It taps for okay, a, oh, it's a man land. five mana, it becomes a 3-4 white dragon creature. I think we dredge here, right? Yeah, just because there's so many good hits, like maze or... Yeah, maze. Or... Oh, yeah. we hit maze. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, that is going to concede <laughs> to that. Okay. Oh, we won a game. <laughs> Look at that. Fantastic. Um, Look at yeah, that. We want to get... There's actually a good question from chat. You said a few minutes ago that um, Punishing Fire was better than Resilience. Resilience. There's, I, I think Endurance. the Endurances are quite good. I mean, I, I think it was better in that game because they were at mm. one. I don't think it's better. <laughs> it was better in that situation. I don't yeah. think it's better in a vacuum. Endurance they... is pretty good. Yeah, it does stop... Pro Inline Peacekeeper, and also the 3-1 Flyer. Anointed Peacekeeper, and there's another one. Elite Spell something. Yeah, uh, yeah. And if they play Age yeah, of Mind Sensor. Good. What do you cut then? Sylvan Library. Maybe the Libraries? Yeah, let's do that. You can well, also I could shave see, a loam. I could see shaving a loam I... and keeping a library in case they have like a Rest in Peace start. You could also like if you you could also leave in punishing fire. Punishing mm. fire gets better if you have endurance. Yes. Um. What if? Ah, uh, yeah. Forces are pretty good. I think forces are good if they're on chrome mox. Hmm. Normally, I think like. If you think about it, the the the, the games against White Initiative they're determined turn one or turn two. Mm. Sumer Library is not going to do anything. Like we need Sumer Library is like a turn. We need to not die turn one. Yeah. Turn two. Uh, and then and then our life from the loam. Like life from the loam is not that. Uh, it's like it's it's only good once we stop them from winning. Hmm. What uh, if we guess... uh, went for the Punishing Fires over the third loam in the library? 
uh, or or just one punishing fire over the third loam. Cool. Yeah. We can do nice. It. It yeah. Nice to like have it in mixed. the deck. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I mean, I don't think it matters that mm. much. Okay. So this. So the interesting here. So the way we win here is they go mox. We, we, we destroy the mox and then, then they can't cast anything. Mm. I still don't think this is good enough because what do we do then? Then we go exploration land map. Yeah. I can find a, yeah, I don't think it's good enough. Okay. This is, better. Uh, this is better. I think, yeah, especially with the crop. Yeah. I like this a lot. So maybe blast zone is the one we bought them. Yeah, I like that. And then keeping the endurance as a creature. Yeah. And then we still Let's have... hope they don't. They don't have turn one. That's a great sign. Nice. Yeah. So Richard and Port would be pretty nice here. Berserker. Ooh. Oh, yes. Okay, so now I would go definitely go Mox. I think I would let I would let, I would keep Saga. Because if we draw okay. a land. You can always crop it away, and if we draw land, it's really good because then mm. we have two creatures. I turn two. So I would nice. go. Uh, yeah. Oh, do they have a way to deal with it? Maybe I should have gone mox first. Yeah, uh, maybe. What can they? Oh, yeah, they can have enchantment removal, of course. Oh, march. Tough. Yeah, I guess if we went mox okay. first, I could have uh, cropped it away. Um, yeah. yeah, we should have. Oh, but if we gone mox first, they could have taken the mox. So yeah, this is awkward now. I think yeah, it's it's the good. Don't do it. I think yeah, we just passed. Okay, maybe, maybe we were too greedy there actually. Oh, now they go for the white plume. Okay. Oh, annoying, but not backbreaking. I think yeah. so. Basic land, come. Uh, I would probably go. I would go. Oh, yeah, this is annoying, actually. Yeah, I would go land, go. Problem is, now we can't even play the Berserker yeah. uh, neck because the Mox is the spell that we can play next turn. Oh. Gonna lie, this will be hard. Like, how oh, do we even beat this? So we draw basic. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. So we play. We play the map now. Okay. So now we're dead. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that's a it was an easy interesting. Way to come back it wasn't. Yeah, no, it was an interesting. Yeah, I think if we had gone, spin stage. Mox, Mox pitch. Versus... Yeah. Yeah. But and March we could is a have hard added... one to play around. <laughs> yeah, that. it's very it's very rare that they have March. I think. Not that common that they play March. I think we like if they hadn't had March, we would have been in pretty good shape actually. Hmm. We would have had a Berserker and two constructs and a Shadow Spear, and that would have raised their, their loss to the March. There, you see, it's determined on turn one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's your local scene like? Do you have many players um, locally? Uh, in Denmark, yeah, yeah, we do have. Oh, nice. Uh, well, it's not perfect design. It's yeah, we're good at winning die rolls. I think uh, I would design. I mean, it doesn't have like an engine with it, which is, I guess, that's Earth saga, but. We have to draw land off the top. Yeah, but that's pretty okay. 
odds. For... Would you it. just start on the saga? Uh, yeah, I think yes, yeah, saga go here. Yeah, I guess the only reason to keep up Mox Diamond is if it's a, like a reanimated deck that we want the Jukebug for, but we do have Endurance anyway. Caracas. Yeah. Th yeah, I think if it's a re reanimated deck that has to turn one with discard, and it's not so good. But if it's like a Prismatic Ending deck, it's much better to do it this way. Delver. Yeah, this is another reason to keep play Mox. It might also be uh, eight cost. Eight cost is Caracas is pretty good against eight cost. It's eight cost. Right. Alice, what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I think it's still okay. Wow. So at least if it's Emery, we have Caracas for this, so that's not too bad. No. Not too bad, no. Okay. Interesting. Uh. Yeah, I think we do Rakas Bounce. Then I don't think we play the Mox. Yeah, I guess the Mox allows us to get a creature. That's the only thing. Yeah, but we have a... Uh... Mox also allows us to yeah. crop... Oh, no, because they have the Chalice. Oh. It allows us to get a creature. Uh... Not really, because they're gonna they're gonna cast Emery again, probably. Hmm. So we can't like. I think this is better because we we can. Uh... Oh, uh, but that's fine because then we get a punishing fire the Emery. That is true, but okay. So uh, okay, so I guess the question is: Do we want to kill them with Merit Ledge or or with? Hmm. Usually, I don't like Merit Ledge against them because they have so many bounce effects, especially this is... the blue land. Yeah, they have bounce and they have sigh. sigh. Maybe it's better. Yeah, let's let's do what you say. Yeah, so we go and we kill the Emery. Then we get a creature. That creature would be a tree tree, so it will be something because they also we also have endurance coming down soon. I liked the uh, vigor in your voice when you said, "Let's kill the Emery." Like. You've been hurt pretty hard by <laughs> an Emery before. I have died to Emery a lot of times, yeah. Now the Chalice wow. is fine. Oh, it's that's... a nut hawk. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So have endurance for Emery, actually. Um... Yeah. yeah, I would make, make the thing. And then... I guess Shadow Spear. Yeah, map. Uh, yeah. Um, map's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, map get... is better, I think. Yeah. So you can you can wait. We can get wasteland. We can get so many things. And that and then yes, attack. Oh, they so are nice. going to. Because the only problem is Sai. Okay. Yeah, we can't attack. So Sai is a problem. I'm not gonna lie. Because mm. uh, uh, if I they have Psy, Psy? Sh Sh Shadow Spear would have been a lot better. Yeah, but if they have Psy, we also have um, uh, Tabernacle. If they try to go wide. That is true. That is true. Yeah, map is pretty nice. I think 8 cost is so much more fun to play against an initiative because yeah. yes. uh, they need to untap. Like It's not they just cast a creature and then we're dead. Yeah. A bit more uh, thought to it. Yeah. But yeah, I think eight cast is a sweet deck. I think there's a lot of 
decks that have yeah. really good enjoyable games against eight casts that if a yeah. friend wanted to get into legacy i'd probably say like get eight casts because of how yeah. it plays out uh mm. okay so two wasteland here so they can when can they cast kappa cannon here i guess that's the the big one they have one two three four five they have five mana No, one, two, three, four. They have five mana. They need a zero drop or a land. Cast Kappa Cannon here. Mm. Uh, I think we attack first before we obviously use yeah. the map. But yeah, the map's going to be interesting. The problem is, like, do we do we deploy Endurance here and then hope that they don't draw land? Or do mm. we... I think it's better to wasteland. It's probably like if we wasteland and they have Ursa Saga. Okay. Oh, this is hard. Stay at 13. A... We can do endurance. Actually, we, actually we could kill a cap. Can't we raise a cap again on here? Yeah, I think we could do pretty well. Um, Say so effectively I, at 11. And the Kappa will be a 5-5. Five five. It, it will die to Punishing Fire Plus. I think we'll... Let, let's just leave here. I think we we pass the turn. Yeah, I like the chances of drawing a land next turn as well, which would even allow us to do something like map into Beseju potentially. To, I guess they have double Chalice, so we can't yeah. really turn this off without Loom, but... So that's interesting. Kappa comes down now, I think. That means they go to 11. Oh, three mana. Kappa did not. No, no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, but they need another. Because, yeah, that's fine. That's a 5-5. Five, five. If they don't, okay, so they don't have another artifact, it's good. So we can flash it in and that, then we can, no, we can't kill it, of course. Yeah, it's only due to ward. The stupid ward, yeah. Uh, but at least this construct's getting bigger as the game goes on. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about the ward. So. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, no, leave Caracas open. I would just... Uh... Uh, I guess if they have force, it's a little bit tough, but what we could do is uh, two mana, crack map, get a land that we want, play Mox Diamond, pitch the land, and then use the two mana left to get the three lands back with Loam. And then if yeah. we go back Wasteland, we could Wasteland them if we need to. Or another side. It's just, it's just risk. I don't, th is it I don't think it's Wasteland. Like, it's, how do we... Like, they have so much mana now. If, hmm. uh, it like could also be Stage. Yeah, that's what I, that was I was thinking. But isn't hmm. it better, if it's Stage, isn't it better to... Loam first, because then we know Loam first. We know if Loam resolves. It's less risky, I think. Yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, holding up Caracas. Then we... So we Loam first. I think, like, the Emery here is a pretty nice... Egg, uh, like a uh, pitch here because they know it's turned off by the Caracas, but they don't have no. it. Okay. Um, nice. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So now the problem, the question is, do we get? Hmm. They have been a little bit stumbling. They have been stumbling on manner a little bit. So I could see like. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it is really tough. 
Yeah, I think I would probably just go box pitch depth. Uh, may maybe more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Let's do pitch. It's in the nurse's saga. Like we need to find a shadow spear here and grow. I think this is fine. And then we just don't mm. attack. We don't attack. No. I don't think they will kill us next turn. They're nine. How much power do we have now? We have... He died. So if they tap Tomb, we're actually dead. Say that again, sorry? If they tap Ancient Tomb, they're dead next turn. Oh. If, attack, if they attack. Whoa, okay. That's fine. That can be hit by Punishing Fire. Is it Ward 5 or Ward 4? Uh, ward 4. So if you one, get Besaid you... Get Besaid you. We just need to draw a land. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, another one. Yeah, it's not the first one that kills you, it's the second one always. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, we probably should have gone for Merit Ledge line instead. Yeah, the chalice really slowed down this hand. Yeah. So I think now, don't you go and get Besaid you here? Yeah. the map and hope to all land I think yeah I guess the other play is maze which is I guess similar but Beseju like we already have the mana for maze but Beseju actually yeah. deals with it and gets it off the field yeah yeah to get a bit lucky, uh, and I assume we don't actually dredge here because we want to draw into a land, yeah. We want to draw land, yeah. Mm. Oh no, <laughs> uh, okay. Because how big is the cap cannon here? 10 and 6. 6 and our street, yeah. I think we're dead, yeah. They have to screw up pretty bad. To not have an artifact, right? <laughs> oh, sorry. I think, yeah, let's just give them the turn. There, there is the world where they only attack with one, and then we just have. I guess we do have like crop for maze still. Oh, we don't because. Oh, no, because. Yeah. Yep. Chalice always gets us. Yeah, especially second Chalice. Uh, oh, really? Okay. That's fantastic. Well, now we actually... Oh, we don't have... Oh. Because yeah. we never make a construct, that's for sure. Yeah, I guess we make a construct and uh, punishing fire the thought monitor. Like oh my bad, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, no, okay, let's not think. Do we want to dredge here? Uh hmm. 
we uh. currently have. We have two mana to make another, and then two mana to equip Shadow Spear. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's not dredge. I think we can do better. Okay, so we drew a Mox. That's kind of sucks. Uh, I would definitely yeah make a construct. Well, I guess actually Mox is not the worst. Shadow Spear. We cast, maybe we cast Mox then. Getting rid of the Beseju? Yeah, because we gain Lomit back. Like next turn we probably have to. Hmm. And then uh, I... let's let's leave Caracas open, untapped. They have Sai. Ah, uh, true. I I guess we just have to attack with one here to gain the life. Isn't uh one two three four five? Isn't uh, uh, is are there six six and uh six six, six and six, uh two? Oh, so close. Why don't we why why don't we attack with everything? Yeah. Okay. Like, I mean, that's yeah. Like the punishing fire not going through on the thought monitor really hurts us here. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can punish the fire with them. Okay. I guess yeah. We don't get. Okay. Yeah. We shouldn't have attacked with everything. We should have attacked with two constructs. Yeah, apologies, that's on me. Trigger happy. Yeah. But, but like, I mean, I think it also just goes to show the power of lands. Like, double chalice, double kappa. I guess they. Oh, they still don't attack. Uh, they might. Oh, they don't? Wow. And now, okay, so now, now we're going to loan, right? right? are they drawing force of wills that's the only thing that they must like their hand must have so many force of will say you uh, oh besides you you definitely want besides you oh i didn't hit besides you oh my gosh sorry oh. i guess uh, i guess not yeah yeah there's a saga i guess i guess you do the same stunt Attack yeah. with one, and, and then put, gain some life. No, 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 leave Caracas open. Always leave Caracas yeah. open. Yeah. Uh, if we attack with. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a besaid you. Hmm. Then we could have killed one of the Kappas next turn. Okay, so attack. Do you think you want to attack with this one, or do you want to? I think you attack with both because if they have one artifact. Goes to literally 18. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, yeah, we attack with both. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, <laughs> fantastic game. There at seven. It's a. This must be a bounce spell. Oh, Ottavara. Trixie, Trixie, Trixie. Okay, so there at seven. Mm. Now we are pretty close to losing. Yeah, for some reason, sorry, when I loamed, I just, I, I did not see it. But obviously that was purely the, the reason I was loaming. One of them. So saga and... Okay, so that that's not the creed. That's not an artifact. I think yeah. we are dead. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we actually have an out here. Oh. All right. Uh, so we want all four of Wiggers. Uh, we want uh, the Pyroblasts. That's about it. Then I think what I like to do, I cut one Dark Depth, so I go down to two. Uh, then I... I cut one Ursa Saga as well. 
So I'm, I'm taking like a control role. I also cut endurance. Nice. Uh, and I do more. Then I think I usually cut like some crop number of crop rotations. Yeah. So chalice. Uh, is that fifteen? Yeah, that is sixty. Nice. <laughs> Uh, loam, but a this, pretty slow start. Yeah, this is not the good hand. Again, again, just another slow uh, start. Yeah, like colored mana. <laughs> Mul classic, Mulligan again. Classic yeah. loam hand. Ugh. Do have the combo, but well, this is. I think this is the better than a lot. If this, and I would bottom. Think I would bottom. As zone. And probably Arsa Saga. Okay. I think the way the way we win this is we, we kill Emery and then we wasteland their artifact land. Like okay, they're kept a seven. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we we have to hope that they have like a an Emery artifact land hand. ABR, no, I think Wasteland was better than Nurse Saga. Usually, when I play against 8 cast, I first have to stop them from winning, and then I figure out how to win. The good news yeah, is we have a way to stop them. Point. In kind of understanding yeah. who's the beatdown and that you're most yeah. likely the control player. Here, we kind of have a way to stop. Like, we can stop an Emery, and then we can uh, win we have a way to win the game as well so it's not horrible it's a bit slow i agree i think he has a hand that dies to force a wigger otherwise they wouldn't think so much yeah probably they just have a hand that goes all in What is the next uh, big event on MTGO you're playing? Well, there is one today, tomorrow, uh, like a RCQ Legacy. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm, not play I'm not playing it, uh, though. <laughs> okay. uh, I think the next one is the showcase in the middle of January. Nice. I'm thinking if I should play the initiative deck or lands. Um, wow. That's interesting. Okay. Silver Library would be a good draw here. That's not a good draw. Yeah. But this is interesting. So they kept a seven that did nothing. They must have a uh, <clears throat> an enormous hand come uh, like the Nurse Saga now or what? Like what? Why would you keep a seven that goes island go? <laughs> Yeah. It's Emery, probably. Needle. This thing, okay, that's a good one. Hey, Hugh. I assume they... It'd be interesting to see if they play the board or if they're in Wasteland. They play the board. Yeah. Uh, actually, that's a bit annoying because it's... Okay, nice. Yeah, I would okay. think, yeah. I guess we port the island, or? Uh, is there a difference? I don't think so. Well, we represent Force or Wigger here, but I mean... We are only represent it for the upkeep as well. <coughs> Also, Vigo would be a pretty good draw. Yeah, especially having the uh, the extra green. But 
I've never seen a deck like this but just okay. be so slow. <laughs> to, to oh, play. exactly. Like turn two needle, turn three saga is just not what eight cast usually brings to the table. Child is on one. Okay, so I guess we. I don't think we bolt anyway. Bolting them doesn't do anything. Uh, okay. Good news is we have. We wasteland the saga and just port again. See what we draw. Yeah. yeah. Loam. Okay. Oh, nice. So we wasteland saga and we still port again. I think. So, pretty sure they have like force of negation. Like, why would they keep this? They must have kept like a super interactive hand. With, like a lot of work. No, I, oh, you forgot oh, to sorry. port. Apologies, apologies, apologies. I was looking at chat. Um, I guess we s might as well see if they go to combat. Yeah. Three. Can't cast Kappa here. Okay, so now port. I think they have Kappa cannon here. Apologies, team. It's fine. Uh, so I would... Uh... Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, I think here... Don't you think it's better to loam here and um, get the counterspell out of their hand? Yeah. So I if reckon it's... we use Grove and Stage... Yeah. To cast loam, so we yeah, so we can port. Also, if this gets a force, I'm more than happy. Obviously, less so for a force negation, but allowing us yeah. to keep this force of vigor is pretty huge. Yeah, yeah like getting rid of a size okay, so, as well is pretty huge. Nice. Okay, so we yeah, so we tap, and then next turn we can do like needle and the artifact land. Uh, or if we draw we a green chalice, card, if we, want. well, shadows doesn't matter, right? We like if we do needle artifact land, we can just make. Uh, if you think about it, we can make. I guess they can have brazen borer. Mm. If we draw, if, let's see if we draw. Okay, that's a bad draw. Uh, yeah, I would lay that out. Yeah. Uh, I would probably do it now because. Otherwise they, no, no, let's do it in their upkeep. Just thinking they can hard cast Force of Negation, but at least then they tapped out. Uh, now I think I would do Artifact Land and Needle, don't you think? Chalice and Needle. I think it's Chalice and Needle, just because we have more outs to this. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 fine. Chalice and Needle, yeah. Force pitching. Epic and another yeah. sigh. Wow. What's two sides down? Isn't there's a cap and now we're basically dead. Yeah, this is the problem. Like, 8 cost playing, like, we moved to 5 also, so I think it was good for them to play the control role. Hmm. Uh, so, we bottom Blast Zone, right? <laughs> it's in the bottom. Right. Uh, okay, that's not oh, the that one. Oof. Oh, nice. Well, that just gets this counted some... by the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so what nice oh wow we do it now right yeah i think we just take out the needle and the before they get to like untap and maybe hard uh, yeah yeah. yeah needle and that one yeah
interesting that they cast Ottawara. That's a really interesting question about Bauble. And if you have a hand like Double Bolt, especially in paper, and you do it twice and you see like each bolt, is there a way that you know that it's just two bolts? Or is there a way that your opponent thinks they've just seen the same bolt twice? I guess it depends on how you do it. Because you shuffle like your hand between, right? Your two cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. If you... Yeah, they get a ran random each time. You have to shuffle your... Okay, so they're one card in hand. Ace. Okay, nice. <clears throat> do you think they have an Ottavara? Uh, I... Like, why, why would they play the one they have? I guess because they thought we were low on resource yeah. and they just forced a force negation that we wouldn't have like the chances of having the cards to turn back on the stage are pretty low. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Do we copy that? No attacks makes me think that they don't have a bounce spell. Yep. Me too. So we can, we can, let's kill one of them, right? Hmm. Yeah, so end step, if we go copy. I would probably bolt first to see what. And then bolt. Bolt again. Don't slow roll. Oh. Okay. okay. So then we play the land and attack, right? Yeah, and then probably just upkeep tap down the saga. I guess the saga can is... go and get bauble. Oh, so saga can, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we play the land and then yeah, exactly. Upkeep. Oh, they uh, took it. Okay, interesting. Upkeep tap. That's really interesting because that could be the only oh, time. Oh, we forgot to tap. We forgot to tap. Oh, oh, tap, 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 yeah, yeah, tap, 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 no. tap, no, tap, no, yeah. Yeah, sorry. That last we get a token. It's fine, yeah. Um, yeah, I thought they would have blocked because maybe they don't get a chance to block again. Like we have a lot of good outs. Blast effects, bolts. Exactly. Not blocking makes them weak to blast. Because otherwise, like if you drop punishing fire now, we just kill them. Right, so we need to draw loam, wasteland, uh, removal. We have a lot of outs. Uh, definitely fetching here. Just going to get the other Tega. I guess they didn't block because they might want to have a uh, keep it alive if they draw bounce. Okay. Yeah, but that's not too bad actually because now you can copy the saga potentially. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I would copy the saga, yeah. And they're so low at life. So I would attack. Can't use. Yes, I would just okay. maybe copy it now as well. Yeah. Let's okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, you tap it first. Yeah, that's right. You could cap ancient tomb. Tap ancient tomb and hope to do it. Okay, yeah. so now I would copy it. <laughs> copy saga. So they go and find a spell bomb.
Oh, they got Soul God. Oh, maybe they. Okay. Maybe they have. Maybe Unless they, they have spellbomb for... with the graveyard. Did they draw it for turn? There's no spellbomb. Maybe. Unless they just don't don't play it. Unless they drew like another thing. They have. They have they to. They could have drawn. Could have drawn like a brace and borrow or something. Yeah, they cracked it to draw to see if they drew into it. No, surely oh. not. They have to draw into another thing, but now they can't tap the ancient tombs. They maybe this, maybe, this, maybe this, they, they sideboarded it that. out. They probably sideboarded it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh you think gosh. they sideboarded it out? I reckon they just don't play it. I reckon they've either submitted a list yeah. where they thought they were playing it and aren't, yeah. or they're maybe just trying out a list without it. Yeah, just playing Otto yeah. and thinking they know that Otto Wire is enough. Um, mm. Probably just keeping the same list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. In better hand now. Uh, Force just of Vigor is the best card. Let's see if we can draw that. Actually, being on the draw is not. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah. Bit of we have a way to stop them from winning, and we have a way to win. We all we also pretty fast, and we have a map. I think this hand is pretty good, actually. Yeah, even against like, a Chalice that... start, the map finding Besage is really nice. Well, unless Chalice comes turn one. Ah, yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, okay, so it's an Emery. Psy, maybe. Psy would be pretty annoying, actually. Uh, okay. Psy is annoying, I'm not going to lie. Sai also isn't the worst because we do have map for Tabernacle if needed, which we kept in yeah. the deck. Yeah. yeah, 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 we kept it in. Okay, so they have. Oh. Interesting. I think I would go like Mox. Uh, pitch the tiger probably. Then I would cast the map. Play stage. Okay, so then I yeah play stage, and then I would uh, cast the other mocks. Pitch the grove. Uh, yeah grove yeah. Nice. Then we can go. We can get either Caracas or we can. But I think Tabernacle is better. Yeah. Tabernacle is kind of an answer to this Psy. Uh, Especially with Ancient Tomb as a land. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Tabernacle is also quite good against the Saga. Just keeping it tapped if they want to keep stuff around. Exactly. So, I think I definitely would go and get Tabernacle here. Tabernacle or Caracas? I think Tabernacle is better. Do it now. Uh, did you see? Just the bolt. Okay. Tabernacle. Tabernacle go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Play Tabernacle. Loan back both lands, I guess. That's well. Now trying to find Wasteland with Loam is really, really strong. Oh. Also, yes. Like, the thing is, he's going to find Pithing Needle. So I think we need to make the Merit Ledge next turn. Oh, interesting. So okay. Ur yeah. Ur Ursa Saga, I think, is going to find Pithing Needle. So. I'm just going to yield to the next end step. So I think if we're going to bolt anything, it's most likely Psy, which obviously doesn't have haste, so I don't think it's too bad. Well, I think, let's see, uh, because if they cast, 
Let's see if we let's see what he keeps. If I were him, okay, see. So oh, is it up Saga then or what? Doesn't keep anything? <laughs> okay, okay. So now you seem to keep Psy if you're not keeping the uh artifacts. Like there isn't a great out for eight cars to Tabernacle. Like you oh, might have a plan of just like going tomb and making a token with Saga instead. Mm -hmm. I think we're in a pretty good shape, especially with the loam. Yeah, we can do and also like merit like return. Mm. Also, Where it's pretty good. big. We have a healthy life. Uh, here, I would not dredge. I would just go draw because we can draw a pyroblast or we can draw. Uh, even wasteland would be pretty good. Mm. Uh, okay, so now bolt the uh, creature. Oh, let's let me think. No, no, no. Let me think. So he's gonna get one. I think we want to. Yeah, we want to bolt that one. So bolt the one one. Yeah, yeah. Because it is a blocker for. Mac. Exactly. Now with chalice, the only thought of loam is potentially like wasteland. As well as pretty good. Yeah, but I think we have to make it now because of pissing needle. Yes. We just have to. So, I guess we get to like we we can loam because we have the combo in hand, and if we loam in sea wasteland, then potentially we could go for it. But we could still. Yeah. Go for okay. But yeah, I guess the only draw, good draw would be force of vigor. But that's yes. The Wasteland stage. Okay. We would still make it now. We, yep. we, we won't be able to make it next turn because of pit. he's going, going to find Pithing mm. Needle. Yeah. Then next, like next turn, Saga. Uh, wait, no, you don't have to do it exactly now. Let's see what he does first because if he, if he pays for the side. So, so if he yeah, because there's one other line we can copy Ursa Saga. Like if he if he pays if we copy Ursa Saga, that means he needs to name he cannot name stage with needle. Mm. Uh right, so do you now... think if we copy Ursa Saga here? Uh, yeah, I don't mind that because then they have to name either yeah, yeah. Saga or could, name. Yeah, so he could also yeah. he could yeah I would copy because he could also just name he could also just find spell bomb if he brought it in. <laughs> I like that a lot. Now we can. Is there loam in the graveyard? Correct. You get a mox opal. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. He needs mana, probably. He's gonna time out, I think. Oh. I actually, I, I'm not sure I, I will have time to play the last round. Because it's... Uh, like, yeah. I think we can play this round, but... the. Uh, You'll have to finish the last game by by yourself, I think. Some sweet games. Yeah, for sure. I don't think the uh, the score line uh, depicts the enjoyment of the league. Definitely. Okay, Kappa's pretty good. Kappa size good, yeah. But oh, uh, so... but he can only keep one creature. Exactly. We we're gonna wasteland now. Yeah, so I assume we loam again. I might as well. Maze Force Dark Depths. Okay, so we... Uh... Wasteland, Maze yeah. Stage. Yeah. Nice. So we Wasteland, the then you can keep... Yeah.
Oh, he's not killing us next turn. He's probably gonna keep in, he's gonna keep the kappa. Hmm. Uh and we I think Mox Time is probably a pretty good draw for us. Cause then we could start mazing uh. the Kappa. Hmm. So I think from here it might just be force is the best draw. Mox Diamond, yeah, yeah, Force Awake would be so good. We also have just make a 2020 yeah. maze, okay. I would play stage probably. Yeah. Then I would make the 2020. Like, Especially if they're paying for the Kappa with one mana, it's very hard for them to also have the mana with only three cards in hand. I guess four yeah. and then five to have both a, an answer for the 2020. Yeah, and we're gonna have a sh get Shadow Spear as well. So, yes. Wow, really going down. This also turns off the Mox Opal, so they can't pay for the. Oh, the Kappa is the artifact itself. Okay. For a second, I thought they oh, okay, yeah. took off Metal Craft. Oh, I thought they messed up, yeah. <laughs> okay, but they, they need to grow this to 11. It's a 6 6, is it? Correct. I need yeah. to five artifacts. There are five cards in hand. I, mean, I guess they can technically speak kill us. Very unlikely. Yeah, if one is an artifact land. Oh, they're just going to attack with block. Yeah, definitely. Do they have nothing? They have nothing, yeah. We won, I think. So let's make the thing. Nice. Nice, nice to finish yeah. with you on a on a on a high for uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. It was You're really welcome. fun. Yeah, uh, but I think in in. That in, the initiative deck is super hard. It's kind of cool games, but we are so behind. Yeah, uh, it is really tough, especially in a deck without many creatures to be able to take the initiative off, off them. Yeah. 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 But yeah, a huge thank you for, uh, for taking the time to, to come on. Uh and all the best you. Uh, for what's to come. I know that uh people can find you on Twitter. Uh you are also on YouTube. I'll actually just put your whole link tree in the comments where yeah, people can that's find a you. Good idea, yeah. Um Thank yeah. you so much. It was really good. Yeah. No, you're welcome, Ali. Anytime. I'll talk to you. And I'll uh, catch you soon. Bye. Alright, team. It's just you and me now. We've got one match left and we're going to finish this on a high. There is no way we are taking another loss. And I feel after a little bit of mentoring from Ali, we can we can take this down. I, I, I have faith. But hey, a huge thank you to you guys for coming in and watching. This is actually the last co-stream uh, of the week. But it's been good. We've had XJ Cloud, Mark Strassman, uh, Hello Newton, Max Dorshan, uh Jono Yannick, aka Dreadnought33, and of course Ali just then. So it's been, yeah, a, a pleasure having them on the channel. Uh, obviously opens my eyes up to a lot of different decks, which is cool. Hopefully opens your eyes up as well. But yeah, it's really fun and always nice to kind of bring the community together a little bit and just enjoy some legacy. Being some sweet decks. Uh, I think if I was going to say my favorite deck, it's probably Max's Bant Initiative deck. And for those of you who didn't see it, uh, I can bring it up quickly. Uh, Max, 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 Max. Actually, I think it was called Bant something. Bant Initiative. There it is. And this is a sweet deck. We quickly got a deck list. Nice. Uh, make this a little bit bigger. Pull these out. 
Um, the deck is very positioned to beat up on initiative. Obviously, you can see through things like Ice Fang, very good at stealing the initiative. Uh, we also have ways to accelerate out with Noble Hierarch into White Plume. True Name, another great card. Uh, even against combo, just being a, being a blue card for Force is quite nice. Uro, and then a small Stoneforge Mystic package with Jitte, and of course, a Haste creature in Kaldra is really, really sweet. But we are back to gameplay. Uh, and... Honestly, just a little bit too slow here. Uh, no real engine either. I don't think turn two Sylvan Library is uh, where I want to be. So we're going to mulligan this. And uh, again, just a little bit rough. Um, we do have a Saga, but again, no way to like really go hard. So pretty happy to mull once more. Okay, this is much better uh, because we have loam with mox and a way to cast it uh i think here i just want to bottom the exploration and the endurance and keep just the combo yeah it doesn't mulligan too poorly so let's keep bottom these two and i think here we just want to go with play stage uh, Mox, Pitch, Depths, and then Loam it back. I want to hide the Wasteland just in case my opponent does start on, like, Fetch into Jewel. But we'll see how that goes. Well, there's a, a Jewel Land, which is quite nice for us. This could be Prismatic Ending, which would be a little bit tough. Hmm. So I think you actually take the draw um, because of course Loaming doesn't do a whole lot. Okay. Uh, I think again, against a Tundra deck, there's not many chances you get to Wasteland them early on. So I don't mind this, especially if they kept like they are uh, an Island Ponder hand. Yeah, maybe the uh, Depths isn't needed and we could have gone with the Exploration. Punishing fire. Okay, at least there's a live draw of uh, Yavamai here. But yeah, maybe it was the five was Mox Land Land, Mox Land Land, Mox Land Land Loam Exploration. Hmm. Tundra Trop. Maybe like a, a Bant Stone Forge. Oh, okay. This could be like a uh, Frexian Dreadnought style list. Another loam. Tough that we don't have the red. Yeah, to like bolt the Hushbringer in response. Hmm. I think now that at least we know what we're up against. Um, which is going to be interesting. I obviously like the forces. And I probably like the pyroblasts. Um, they're going to be a deck that also probably plays... Saga? Yeah, I could see... Um, one thing I don't have too much experience with, of course, is the actual mana base of lands. Uh, although I do know from experience that it is pretty shoddy at the best of times. Um, but yeah, there's obviously a, a lot of lands here that don't make mana. So it is kind of nice to have potentially even like another Yav if you were going to go up on the on the Maze of Its. Um, or have some sort of land like the one that's when it's in your graveyard, you can tap lands for any mana. Uh... Tough one. I think the needle can come out here. The punishing fire is interesting, but we have the bolts. But Hushbringer is a one-two, so punishing fire does hit, hit that. And the nice thing about punishing fire is, is that we, if we loam it, we can still get it back. We did not get game one, no. 
Um, Blast Zone's pretty good because it hits, uh, obviously, Dreadnought. Uh, Bog, I could probably see coming out, potentially even like just the Endurances and the Bolts, and just go from there. Uh, again, just a hand with acceleration, but doesn't really do a whole lot. We do have crop rotation for Saga, which means we can actually create a token on turn two. But I feel like there's just a better start. The maze is kind of nice against the actual Dreadnought start. The spear in hand is kind of cool, but if we lose the crop, we just uh, don't really have a whole lot going. Okay, uh, another mock start with Loam and an actual Taiga, so I don't mind keeping this and possibly even keeping the first or the second life no Loam bottoming the Shadow Spear just so we have a play around uh, Force of Negation on the, the first Loam. But obviously Surgical gets us pretty hard if we keep two. But pretty happy to keep bottom Shadow Spear. Uh, I'm going to lead on, actually, I'm going to lead on the pyro, on the foothills, mocks, pitch the depths, fetch, eager, and then loam both back. Nice. Noble's fine. Definitely loaming. Um, we hit crop exploration forest. Not the greatest, but we do again get to go wooded foothills, fetch, get forest and this. Yeah, I think that's probably a, a big uh, kind of level up with learning lands is knowing when to draw and when to loam. Especially seeing we had a loam in hand, but I, yeah. It's a tough one. What I don't want to see is a, a turn two white plume. Okay. Yeah, I think at this point it might be a draw next turn. Hmm. Do I care about Uro? Drawing a card and putting a land in is pretty good. And they currently only have one land in the bin, so they're not getting it back anytime soon. And yeah, I think I'd rather try to draw a spell here. Okay, that's pretty good as well. Have a fetch for the brainstorm and just passing or attacking. Okay. Uh, 
Um, I don't mind turning stage into tundra. Yeah, this is where like a uh, an exploration effect would be really strong with the wasteland and loam. I definitely don't want to play into a prismatic ending, but I think at this stage they have a Caracas. We do have a wasteland, which is nice. Probably just holding the wasteland here until end step. No, I could also Wasteland now and then loam it back just to make use of my hand. But then I can't make the 2020 in the same turn. Could copy Wasteland as well, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get to a position where I can make the 2020 most likely gain 20 life in their end step and then just loam back the combo and the Wasteland. No attacks. Interesting. I'm still pretty happy to throw these. Ah, sadly, we have the only forest in hand. Tough. Okay. They missed a land drop last turn. Hmm. Is port better than waste? They have easily enough for Uro. Yeah, maybe port is better. Just taking down the trop. Ah, uh, with Stifle. I guess now we loan because of Maze. Double Maze, nice. Oh, sorry, discard. Uh, probably just the fetch, seeing that we have both takers and forest in hand.
I guess they could also have Stifle on the Maze of Earth trigger. Nice, okay. Start with this. Yeah, that was exactly the draw we needed. I think it's going to be Wasteland them and then play second maze just to play around one stifle. And then we can take them off two mana. And if they had Stifle, I think they would have used it then to get through. So I think I'm happy just wastelanding now and playing into Stifle, of course. Oh, sorry. Second land. Yeah, from here we're looking pretty strong, which is nice. They're not even going to attack. Okay. All right. So, yes, we do want to loam. Expedition map. Nice. Uh, wasteland. 245. I just get back. Caracas. Force. Sure. Uh, I will just put the Dark Depths into play. What they pitch? Force. Nice. Um, so we did see Uro. So I think for that, I do like having the Bajuga Bog. Uh, this probably isn't much of a Shadow Spear matchup, but it is nice to be able to gain a little bit of life with Beatdown with Constructs. The map's also nice because it does find things like Bajuga Bog or uh, Blast Zone. Uh, I could see going down on Adepts, seeing that there are Swords to Plowshares deck. Um, and we also saw Caracas. Maybe that's where I want to make a small change. The crops obviously can be hit by um, uh, force effects, but I think that's okay. But endurance is is interesting. Yeah, I don't mind. I think two's a nice soft spot. Um, I don't know if this is really a tabernacle match up, but like taxing the noble hierarchs are quite nice. I think the, I think there is room for endurance in this match, especially to like maybe surprise a Hushbringer um, and obviously get rid of Uro and also just have something that isn't really reliant on the graveyard to get into play and start pressuring. But I think I'm the control deck, so that's, yeah. Yeah, maybe it is a tabernacle matchup because we are controlling their mana so well. Like, looking at all their dual lands as well, it's going to be hard for them to be able to play around it. Yeah, maybe the bolts are actually pretty good. Um, But this is sadly just one of those hands where I don't think it really comes together. Okay. Um... It's probably the bog. Probably the bog because we can crop into it if we really need to. Yeah, nice. Okay. Saga's really nice. Um, I think 
think I'll start with Saga. Mox. Pitch. Depths, because we have the Saga as, as well already. Line this back. Pass. Prismatic. That's fine. Uh, I do just want to draw here. Okay, that's pretty good. I think this turn I just want to hold up Pyroblast and then next turn potentially crop away the Saga to get some value. Start with diamond? Okay. Uh, that's pretty good. The hush spring, we don't have a great removal spell for, so we just have to let this resolve. Have two cards left. Oh, so close to Blast Zone. Hmm. Is it Blast Zone? No. Because I would only have Blast Zone, one land, two land. Yeah, I think I think it might be maze. Oh, then we get to search off this as well. Hmm. I think I still like Mox here. Mox pitch depths into Saga again. Map, I guess map also gives us actually, um, map's actually pretty good because it gives us access to uh, Beseju. And I think I just make use of that right now. Could have mapped for Blast Zone. I guess we get blown out a little bit by um, by Stifle. Yeah. But it does two for one at least. Uh, I think Ponder was a shuffle. Chose to not shuffle. Okay. Probably see them attack with both. Yeah. Okay. Still don't want to dredge here. Oof. Okay. I kind of like port hold up saga here. If we really need to, we can also pyroblast something. Next turn, we can also get force of uh, get a mox diamond for force of vigor.
but May is really nice because they deal with May's. We have the Biseju. If they don't, we just, you know, re we don't really care about it. Okay. Uh, again, no dredge. Uh, I should, sorry, I should have tapped that for mana. That was a pretty big misplay. Because now we have to play the Besaju potentially. Oh, we still get top of mana? No, okay. Get three cards. Yeah, that mana was really important because it means we could have uh, played Beseju, played Force, and then had the Taker up for Pyroblast. I think I like it. And probably just doing it upkeep. To play around just like hardcast force, they can of course force negation, but I think that's fine. That's risky for sure, but that's a big payoff. Right, so they brainstorm and have a Misty. I actually really thought at uh, like the recent Legacy Pit, or the Card Titan Eternal Weekend, I thought Mono White uh, Dreadnought would have been a really good deck to take if you expect a lot of initiative and then you still have a lot of removal in things like Swords to Plashes and Solitude um, for Delver and then you still have some great cards for combo. I think this is one more turn of no loam but I'm just going to have a look. I guess loam is fine. Loam, get back Saga. And then start just going on the saga route. The forest, Yav, Stage. Nice. All right, let's tap like this. Getting Stage, Saga, Saga. Surgical on Saga. That's fine. I think if we get back this uh, stage, we probably just hold up copy maze. Yeah, I thought they would have gone after the loams as well, but um, obviously not a shot. Happy to attack here. It's not doing too much on blocks anyway.
Uh, not looming. Nice. <laughs> Play depths. And then one, two, three, four. Or, okay, we can play library. Yeah, Green Sun's Twilight, I think, is just a little bit too slow and a little bit a little bit too much mana to make it, especially when you have Green Suns. Um, and you also want to make sure you have a high density of creatures in your deck and not just a bunch of fluff or, or cantrips so it'd be hard to it'd be hard to play it alongside green suns over uh something else some other tutorable effect um but you know like we haven't really seen collected company or we haven't seen um uh, like quarter calling and legacy so yeah it's really tough to to get there I think I'm pretty happy to try to go for it here because we have the, the, um, loam to get them back. Oh, I think we actually get a forest here. No. Oh, we hit a Punishing Fire. Interesting. And a Bajooka Bog, if that's relevant. I actually might just hold up the Tega, because there's a world where they can, like, take us off the ending with Prismatic Ending and then take us off red. So let's get back. Depths Stage Bog. Nice. Play Stage. Attack. Little cool trick as well here is that if I want to get the Besaju in the bin to get back with Loam, I can copy it with Stage, get two legendary Besaju's, put one in the bin, keep one, and then Loam back, obviously, this one. If we put the copy in the bin, we just get back a Stage. I think the role of this Pyroblast as well is probably putting Uro in the bin before they get it back so we can just bog it out of... I guess actually they get to keep a row. So that's probably a good reason to hit it on the stack. Hmm. I'm actually going to tap down this fetch and see if they do anything. Oh, they let it. Pretty happy to draw here. Okay. I could blast this, especially seeing they fetched first. That makes me feel like they have another fetch land in hand to make sure they don't get brainstorm locked. And this feels like it's a little bit of like, I have to uh, get this going. I, I think we're there. Uh, that's fine. They're down to one card left. All right. I think I like Loam here, especially if it hits a uh, 
a grove just because of that punishing fire. Depth stage maze. Play stage. It's off the top. Pond is pretty good. Yeah, I think now's a great time to start drawing for sure. It's an Uro. Okay. It's pretty good. I'm going to hold up uh, the tap down in case they have Caracas. Oh, we get back Punishing Fire here. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I am more than happy to do that. I didn't even think of that interaction. Okay, uh, no, we're just going to draw. Okay. Uh, I guess we can't take them off. Uh, Force of Will here, so might as well try this. Nice. Well, that was a grind, but here we are. Uh, some, some tough lessons to learn, uh, for sure. Um, and initiative really showed that like, even with things like Unchained Berserker, it's, it's a really, really tough and uphill, ba uphill battle, but, um, definitely nice to get that last one. Pretty happy to see that. But that does put, uh, yeah, these co streams to an end. Just kind of sad but uh it's gonna be good to take a break and uh yeah enjoy some holiday out outdoors um but yeah a huge thank you to all of those who came in and watched a huge thank you to all of those who took part of course um you can find all of the matchups all of the videos going onto youtube via here um you can see some of the, the comments throughout as well uh on my twitter but yeah nice to pull back and, and finish on a high but that's pretty awesome um, but lands is definitely one of those decks that you can really sink your teeth into and enjoy. Uh, and it, it's one of those ones that's pretty appealing to me as well. Um, I think there's obviously a lot to it and a lot of time you can, uh, put into it. So yeah, a huge thank you to you, the viewers for making this as enjoyable as it was. Uh, and that's me. I'm going to see who else is streaming. Hopefully there's some more legacy to send you guys over to. Um... And it looks like at least Mengu is playing, so I'm going to send you guys there. But hey, a huge thank you to the new followers, the new sub uh, over the whole week. Uh, it's been, yeah, really, really nice. So a uh, big thank you once again. And we'll see you next time. Look, maybe even tomorrow. Who knows? But uh, enjoy weeks ahead. Until then. Cheers.